Hello? Uh, can you hear me? Do you... Do you read me? Hello? Oklahoma! Oklahoma, this is Lancaster! Do you read Lancaster? Over! Yes, yes, uh, I read you, but... This is... not... Oklahoma. Oh, oh, my God, man! Who is it? Over! Richard? Richard, huh? Uh, for Richard? Can I call you Dick? I usually go by Richard. Good man, Dick. Thanks for taking my call. I was beginning to think I was the only soul left on Earth. The name's Hughes. H for Hughes. G Hughes, that is. G for George. Like I said, I, I'm glad you found me, but I would have preferred the tenor of a woman in my last moments, or an Englishman. Ha <laughs> ha! Over. I'm sorry. I'm... neither of those things. Over. Save your tears, man. If the last soul I know before I meet my maker is an American, then so be it. But you'll never hold a candle to my ankles. Over. Where are you? Over. Well, I'm on my way to the great beyond, I'm afraid. But currently, I'm in a thick fog high above the battle and I'm going down. Over. I I'm sorry. Uh, what? Battle? Jesus, man, the war! I thought you Americans had a little more moxie than that! No, no, we, uh, we do! It's just that, uh... There's no war right now? I mean, not here. Well, where exactly is here for you, dick? Over. New York City? Huh? You're all right, dick. I'll tell you that much. You sound like the kind of chap I'd like to share a pint of three with in another life, but it seems my time is running out, and I've got some final business to take care of. Do you think you can help me with that old sport? Over. Yeah, yes, uh... I will try. Good man! Now, I want you to send a telegram to my darling Ethel that is address 1604 Nivens Lane, London. Postal code EC2Y8SY. Tell her I love her. Wait, George, sorry. Um, I've never sent a telegram before. I'm pretty sure those don't even exist anymore. Dick, once again, this is no time for your horseplay. Now. If you can't take my message, then get me an operator who can. Over. But... There's no one else here! Then it's up to you, old sport. Come now. You're a smart lad. You can figure it out. You'll have plenty of time soon. It's my clock that's winding down. Now then, Richard, we've wasted precious time and I won't be able to dictate the whole thing. You'll have to fill in the blanks. Do you think you can do that? Yes. Yes. I can do that. Just give me 10 seconds. I gotta uh, grab some paper. Over. Okay, I'm back. Good man. Boy, you're really picking up speed now. Dick, tell her I love her. Tell her she was the love of my life from the moment I laid eyes. Yes, I got it, George. All right. Tell her she was the last thing on my mind before I went down. And if I'm lucky, she'll still be on my mind in the next place, wherever that is. Got all that? Yeah, uh, George, you only gave me your first name. What was your last name? Chapman, dear boy. A lovely name. If I had the time, I would have made it Hughes. Ethel Hughes. <laughs> That's a rather handsome name, wouldn't you say? That's a very pretty name, George. Yes. Now I want you to promise me you'll get her this message. No matter what, it's a matter of life and death, Richard. Yes. I promise you, George. Good, good. I see the mountains now. They're coming up fast. I figure I've only got but a moment left. Dick, I'm glad I caught you tonight. You're a good man. You'll figure all this out. Yes. I will, George. I promise you. Oh, give me my style of shell of quiet, my staff of faith to walk upon, my scrip of joy, immortal diet, my bottle of salvation, my gown of glory, hope's true gauge, and thus I take my pilgrimage. George? 